Okay guys, here is part 2. So, let's continue where we have last left off. For example, he called Brady Luis fat, when in reality, he is not. Come on man, it isn't nice to call someone fat. 4. He keeps going at me saying that I always interrupt his friend's sentences and change the subject. That's because you are making it hard for me to communicate. Terry didn't ask cry about it, stay mad, get real L mold seed cope. He's not even pissed you. You are very dumb, Foxy. Frankie was throwing a huge tantrum when I came at him for interrupting our sentences and changed the subject and I told him that he would not let him speak to me and other people, and after Yami heard all that assuming he has, he got very hostile and interrupted what I've said using a social media clip. Well, there is no excuse for you to show proof that Frankie was throwing a tantrum. For f sake, this is not about Frankie, this is about- <laughs> Because I don't think he ever throws tantrums in some of his videos. <laughs> Dude, just deal with it. Excuse me, but you're the- If you don't like me changing the subject, just ignore it or pretend it is on the same subject. Okay, time to use your logic against you. If you don't like people complaining about you changing the subject, then get the f*** off the internet. If you're too much of an immature kid to take criticism like a man, you are the one that's the immature kid here, not him. Excuse me, but I am not the one interrupting people with stupid ass social media clips and with a text-to-speech voice. Whenever someone explains to me how the person is horrid and change the subject, whenever people explain to other people something yummy, so why are you saying I am immature when Frankie interrupts us and change the subject when that's not what I do? Now go touch grass. What do you think grass is going to do to me? Eat me alive. Very weak insult. Dude. Look, tell somebody to touch grass, like, like, dude, tell somebody to touch grass with Desi, dude, Desi, tell them people to touch, to touch grass, it's just a saying, dude. You're basically taking it literally. Five, he always gives me negative criticism, just like Tom and Jordan. Well, guess what, Jason? The criticism you have gave me is unacceptable. All you are doing is just telling me something that is BS. You only think that because you don't want to admit to it. And the reason why you don't want to admit it is because you're in denial, but in an annoying way. Says the who is in denial, he is a global alt. How much brain cells do you have in your brain, Yami? Let me reiterate, if I was global then my channel would be erased from existence because of him deleting the alts made by him. Were you even there when that happened or is your small ass brain underdeveloped? Six and oh my gosh finally, he keeps saying that Foxy is a free when she is not. I don't say that a lot you dumb f And why the f do you care if I keep calling her a furry? That is not your concern, Frankie. Because you call her a furry just because of her profile pic, which is super rip. I'm confused. What are you confused about? That, when I told Frankie that he was complaining about me calling you a furry, Yami repeated exactly what Frankie said but paraphrased it with his own words and I didn't know what point he was trying to make, and that's exactly what I was confused about Foxy. Well, those users who keep on calling Foxy a furry needs to be decreased immediately. Why are you acting like calling Foxy a furry is a bad thing? Because, she is, not, a furry. Yeah! I agree with what my friend said right there. And Jason, they really need to stop calling Foxy a furry, because it's not very nice to call Foxy a furry. Where is your proof that she is? If it's something dumb, like about her PFP, then that is just a stupid excuse. So in my conclusion, Jason the Beyond Community Hater sucks super duper hard, including Tom, Jordan, and Joe Klonka. Anyways, that's all for this rant. I'll be waiting for Jason or one of his friends' reactions to this rant and see how they respond. And also, if you guys got any questions about my rant, leave a comment down below. See you guys later.
Goodbye, and be safe. Well guys, I guess that's it for this commentary. See you all later on the next video. Goodbye, be glad this is the last time you get the over outro. What are you even talking about? Speedster Gamer involves this kind of stuff in his commentary videos. Are Bruh, you suffering from Alzheimer's disease or what? Questions. And also, whoever portrayed as Spongebob in the blue background should never show us a gun in a commentary video, because it may not be suitable for younger kids. Both yes. Well, I mean... I mean, what do you mean? You... What do you mean by... Do you think he's he, that he thinks he's be, dude? Just be, dude. He, I mean, he probably just got ex inspired by Spacey's Gamer to do that, dude. I'm back a minute because I want to see what that text said. That's wait, I would just do, do that when do that on your army's commentary later. Hi guys. Oops. Welcome to a double. I mean, when I just check to see what's on your army's commentary later. Anyways, that's the end of the Foxy Reacts. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox and Tinian Fan out. I don't know what to say about this commentary, but let's now do a commentary on Brady's commentary on my commentary on Frankie's rant on me. Hey guys, I have nothing else to say, so let's get to the video. Hey guys, time to make a commentary on Frankie's rant on me. Let's get started. Hey guys. Frankie and Sonic is back at it again with another rant. Today, I'll be ranting on this user that I had to almost deal with all the time. His name is Jason the Beyond Community Hater. Note, if you guys like this user and slash or your friends with him, your opinion will be handled. Now, let's start this rant. Jason the Beyond Community Hater has got to be one of the worst people I know. Here are the reasons why I hate this user in my opinion. 1. He makes awful videos. That's an opinion, not a reason to why I am awful, you dumbass. Dude, that's a reason, not an opinion. You're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Well, Brady was absolutely true. That was a reason, not an opinion. Can you explain to me how the f is that a reason? makes bad punishment day videos out of my friends except for Jack the video maker. You are the one who is friends with Brady Luis who made three punishment day videos on me, Tom, and Joe Plunka, yet you even supports Brad Moment who made punishment day videos on me and Jordan. So it is only bad if I make punishment day videos, is that right? You deserve that for all the sh you've done. Like what? Name three bad things I've done. Well, to make this clear, these are the three bad things you've done. During the past in your commentary videos from seasons 1 to 7 or 8, you said the n-word like about a multiple times, but until season 10, which is your current season, you finally stopped saying the n-word. Because I got tired of pretending to be black when I am not, wanted to come clean and made a community post confessing to people that I lied about my skin color. And this year, you claim to Foxy that her reacts are actually called commentaries, when in reality, she says it is, reacts. I don't even know how that's bad but okay. And, in season 10 episode 9 on Frankie's rant on you, you even called him a, JS. What's so bad about it? Well, if you call someone a JS, that means you are calling someone a jerk or a very stupid person, as seen on https colon slash slash highnative.com slash question slash 17125799. Everyone does it, so I don't see what the big deal is. So yeah, those were the three bad things you did from your previous commentaries. Well for number one, that's one thing I did wrong, but for two and three...
and just, because someone does something bad doesn't mean you can make a punishment gay video out of them. It just shows you're no better than that person. He's bullying one of my friends like Foxy the Fox 110 and Brady Louise. Those mother are the ones who started doing videos on me first, so you can't say that when they are the ones who did videos on me first you You joined Tom's gang, first you hypocrite. For example, he called Brayden Luis fat, when in reality, he is not. Come on man, it isn't nice to call someone fat. For he keeps going at me saying that I always interrupt his friend's sentences and change the subject. That's because you are making it hard for me to communicate with you because of that. You liar! Just deal with it. Excuse me, but you're the one making it hard for people to communicate with you. Nope! Wrong again! Problem kid. If you don't like me changing the subject, just ignore it or pretend it is on the same subject. Okay, time to use your logic against you. If you don't like people complaining about you changing the subject, then get the f*** off the internet, if you're too much of an immature kid to take criticism like a f man. Why don't you do the same thing too? Hey, no thanks. I think I will stay on the internet. 5. He always gives me negative criticism, just like Tom and Jordan. Dude, all I was doing is tell you that you should not be interrupting people's sentences and change the subject. When you're being told those things and you think you can just do whatever you want, is that right? I'm, c I'm confused! I'm confused right now, G! Obviously, I told him that he keeps changing the subject and interrupt our sentences when we try to talk to him and he says that it's negative criticism so that he can keep interrupting and change the subject whenever we try to talk to him or talk about something that has something to do with him. Well, he has to do that to help you learn some strict lesson. Guess what Jason? The criticism you have gave me is unacceptable. All you are doing is just telling me something that is BS. You only think that because you don't want to admit to it. And the reason why you don't want to admit it is because you're in denial, but in an annoying way. No. And why the f*** you not think that he's in denial? Explain your reasoning. Six and oh my gosh finally, he keeps saying that Foxy is a furry when she is not. I don't say that a lot you dumb Are you sure about that? Yes. Well, I think it is about time you would stop calling Foxy a furry for good. I already did. So stop your whining. Because she hates being called a furry. And why the f*** do you care if I keep calling her a furry? That is not your concern Frankie. Dude, where is your proof that she is? If it's something dumb, like about her PFP, then that is just a stupid excuse. So in my conclusion, Jason the Beyond Community Hater sucks super duper hard, including Tom, Jordan, and Joe Klonka. Anyways, that's all for this rant. I'll be waiting for Jason or one of his friends' reactions to this rant and see how they respond. And also, if you guys got any questions about my rant, Leave a comment down below. See you guys later. Goodbye, and be safe. Well guys, I guess that's it for this commentary. See you all later on the next video. Goodbye. Thanks for watching my commentary everyone. See you all in the next video. Goodbye. Not sure what to say about that commentary either, but I would like to thank you guys for watching my commentary. Time to end off the video with a goodbye. Phew! Thank God that commentary is all over. Wow. That commentary was abysmal. And as for a rating, I am going to give it a 2 out of 10, what an abysmal commentary. And what's so bad about it? I didn't even insult anyone in the commentary. There's nobody said you insulted anyone. I just gave it a 2 out of 10, because I felt like it.
So anyways. That is pretty much it for today's commentary. Thanks for watching folks. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to me and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified for every new video coming your way, and don't forget to send me a request of what commentary I shall do on next. This is your wolf lover, Black Panther, and the Walking Dead fan, leaving. See you next time for another commentary. Well, I am glad we finally got this commentary over with. I don't know what to say about this commentary, but I will just say that it made me lose so much brain cells. Here's an example. But anyways, I guess that's it for the commentary. If any of you enjoyed it, be sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button. Because, if you don't... Just kidding. Be sure to subscribe though. Anyways, see you guys later. Man, this commentary sucked. I literally have no words to say about this commentary video. So anyways, I am going to let Iman's world go now. So, au revoir, Iman's world. Au revoir to you too. I'll see you next time some days you want to feature me in any more commentaries. So anyways. That is pretty much it for today's commentary. Thanks for watching folks. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to me and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified for every new video coming your way, and don't forget to send me a request of what commentary I shall do on next. This is your wolf lover, Black Panther, and the Walking Dead fan, leaving. See you next time for another commentary.